Well, what we just saw there was award-winning Christian music artist Natasha Owens with her new hit single, Trump Won. The song has gained a lot of popularity since its release, Natasha as well. This isn't something you see often in the music industry, somebody saying what they actually believe. And it's proven to have worked for Natasha since the song's release, Trump Won has reached number one on iTunes. Looks like a lot of music listeners are desperate to hear something unconventional and authentic. How about that? We have Natasha Owens with us today. Natasha, thank you so much for being here. Congratulations uh, on your success. How has it been received uh, in Nashville and the music world uh, putting this song out? You know, thank you for having me. I, it's an honor to be on. Nashville has, has turned very woke, I'm sure, as mm. you know more so in the contemporary Christian genre than the country. So they're not really embracing it. It's a very anti-Trump city. But, you know, citizens around the world are absolutely embracing this song. They have gone absolutely nuts over it. It soared to number one. And um, just selling out of everything. This is something that they want acknowledged, something that they want addressed, and something that they want fixed. And so this was just perfect timing with this song. Well, it's, it's refreshing to see uh, an artist, a, a singer, not be fake, right? To, <laughs> to, you know, put it all out there, especially when it's something that you're not allowed to say that's not politically correct by any stretch of the imagination, but of course is your uh, right to say. And uh, it, it, it is, it's disappointing, Natasha, that we've gotten to a point where uh, you can't release a, a song like this without people losing their minds and their brains uh, exploding <laughs> in, in political, political fury. I know, you know, the other side, ha they're very vocal and they have an opinion, but if you go against that rhetoric, they immediately can't handle it. And once you can't, so we have been fought from pillar to post to try to get this song out there. Just the, the, when we did the press release, just the wire who gets it out to the newsrooms rejected it because of the content. And so Facebook is putting a sensitivity, uh, calls, you know, thing that you have to click out of to make sure that people know it's sensitive content, which is ridiculous, and misinformation. What's new about that? Mm. So Twitter is still got it up. Truth still got it up. And Facebook, it's hit or miss. They're taking us down left and right. But we're going to succeed and we're going around them. Well, and Natasha, this is your, this is your business. This is your livelihood. <laughs> it's how you make money. So, uh, you yeah. know, you can very easily make the argument that the, these, these companies, these giant platforms are preventing you from being able to put food on the table, provide for yourself and your family uh, over a political disagreement. You know what? They don't care about that. They just want the other side. If it's not a state sponsored rhetoric, they want the other side censored and they don't care. They hope that I go in the poorhouse. They hope that we don't eat. They want to starve us out. But you know what? This country, I have traveled it for the past several years and this people still stand behind President Trump, no matter what the polls, no matter what the Dems say. Uh, he is the one that knows how to get us out of the mess that we are in and we need him to come back. So I'm all for him, and I know that mo the majority of Americans are as well. Mm, yeah, uh, very many Americans still stand with President 45. <laughs> Natasha, uh, got to ask you: Is there uh, now that you've you've really struck a chord uh, on this this theme, this uh, Trump one song? What's next for you? What's the next hit <laughs> single going to be from Natasha Owens? Any ideas? Yes, I already have it ready to go. Once this wave ends, we are going to completely come out with a new song called The Second Protects the First. I'm a gun right uh, from Texas. We, we love our guns and we love our rights. And people need to understand that if we do not have a second amendment, we do not have a first. So the song is The Second Protects the First. And I'm so excited for people to hear it. And we are excited to hear it as well. We'll keep, a, keep an eye and an ear open for that. Natasha Owens, okay. thank you so much for being on the show. Great to have you here. Congratulations thank again. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.